See, there's a long-running competition between magicians and card cheats over who is better with a deck of cards. See, magicians a lot of times can be fancy and flip cards around and all those kind of things. Where a card cheat, if he would do that, no one would ever play with him. And worse than that, if he got caught doing something like that, he might get killed. Now there's an old story about a magician and a card cheat that got together in the same room at the same time to play a game of cards and a bet came up that the magician couldn't cut to a four of a kind from a shuffled deck of cards. And the story went a little something like this. All right, so it started off with the gambler giving the cards a bit of a shuffle. And then the idea was that wherever the cards were cut, whatever card that was, in this case a nine, that the magician had to cut to the other three of those. So the magician gave the cards one cut, two cuts, and he found the second nine. Instead of here. The third one, it gets harder because there's less and less of them to find, but that should be the third one. And then the last one, with one cut, two cut, just like that, the magician found the... At this point, the gambler reached for the wallet, reached for the money, said, you owe me whatever the bet was. And the magician kind of corrected him and said, no, 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 no. You see, you said I just had to cut to four of a kind. You didn't say which four of a kind it had to be. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four of a kind, just like that. And I don't know why you thought I was gonna try to cut to the nine, because if you take a look right here, there is not a nine in the entire deck. None to be found. See, I actually keep one nine here, one nine here, one nine up here, and the last one should be right there. 